My family's crazy. I just saw them two weeks ago because my cousin got married to a white girl. Woo, white people. <laughs> Irvine. That's right. And uh, it was a great ceremony because when they were walking down the aisle, her side of the family was all throwing rice and uh, me and all my relatives were catching it. <laughs> Use it for the reception. You know. The worst part of a wedding, ladies, I think you can attest to this, is the bouquet toss. Can't stand it because my grandpa likes to embarrass me. He like shoves me in the middle of the floor and he starts like pointing and screaming. He's like, Bernadette, you're next. You're next. How would he like it if I did that to him? We're at a funeral. I'm like, Grandpa, you're next. You're next. I'm going to sign you up. And my grandma's no better. Anytime she saw me going through the buffet line, she's like, Bernadette, stop eating. Okay, nobody's going to marry you. I'm like, Grandma, we've been over this a thousand times, okay? I don't need to get married, because I'm already a citizen. Okay. <laughs> I can vote. Yeah. A lot of pressure to be thin, especially in Hollywood. Ladies, I can't stand it like girls like Charlize Theron and Renee Zellweger. You guys, they got so much recognition because they gained weight to play normal sized people in the movies. And they're like, it was so hard to eat all that food. Uh, they're hiring the wrong people for this job. <laughs> Had that been me, I would have been like, how much weight you want me to gain? 20 pounds? Give me two days. You just tell me when I'm getting too fat. I'm an overachiever, right? <laughs> See, that's the cool thing about being a stand-up comic is you get to travel. You guys, my last show was in Gainesville, Florida, and sometimes people come up and say weird things to you. This guy came up to me after a show, and he was like, hey, you're a hot chink. <laughs> I was like, oh, excuse me? He's like, oh, don't get all mad and start doing your coke. 